For this standby, I was just getting ready to mail a package when I noticed something cool about the packaging tape. It makes this crazy sound as you pull it out. Now what I think is the coolest about this sound is how it changes as you pull the tape out. You hear how it goes from high to low to low. It's crazy, but it's something I've noticed about other things around my office too. Here's a simple plastic ruler, and when I put it on the table, I can make sound with it by kind of hitting the end of it. Now the longer it is, the lower that sound becomes. Now this is true of more than just tape dispensers and plastic rulers. Anything that vibrates can make sound. Now this saw has teeth on it all the way along. So if I saw something like this wood dowel, as I pull the saw across, it's gonna cause the little wooden dowel to kind of bounce up and down and vibrate. If I saw it just a little bump, it sounds like that. If I make it a little longer. So even the vibrations of this piece of wood can make sound. Sound of different notes. Well, if vibrations can make sound, it makes me wonder, can sound make things vibrate? Well, let me take this computer speaker and just put a small piece of paper in front of it. Now if I play some music, especially some music with some low bass notes in it, I wonder whether I'll be able to see this piece of paper move. There it goes. Ever so slightly, you can kind of see that paper wiggling a little bit. So if vibrations can make sound, and sound can make things vibrate, there must be some connection here between sound and vibration. 